Hi guys. Okay, I am very excited to teach you how to make a plant-based version of risotto. And it's actually not risotto at all. It's just something that really mimics the flavors and the depth of flavor of risotto. And I just made it up uh, two nights ago when I was making dinner. I made it for Heath and I. His was a little bit different, which is kind of how I cook a lot of times is make slight variations based on each person, mostly me and him because he likes to eat meat and I usually don't. Um, but the base of the risotto is cauliflower rice. And then, well, you'll see. Okay. So let's jump in. This will be so fast for you to make. And you'll, you will be like, oh my gosh, I made this in 10 minutes and it tastes like a restaurant. Okay, just a quick recap. I wanted to show you the bag of cauliflower rice. I literally got it out of the freezer. This is the, it's a 10 ounce bag that comes in a larger bag at Costco. So it's organic cauliflower rice. So that's the base. And I have my pan over here. You can see it's chilling, cooling. It's not chilling, it's just cooling off. And then I cooked it in some vegetable broth. This is just organic, low sodium, another Costco deal. We added the organic frozen butternut squash. Again, none of these were thought out, so we're just doing shortcuts all the way across town here. So I'm just going to scoop this in. And usually I don't do this in the bowl that I'm gonna plate in just because it doesn't turn out as pretty, but you guys can just watch this one. Okay, so we've got that. And then to give it a little more depth, we're gonna drizzle coconut aminos all across. You could also put this in the pan as it cooks, you know, drizzle coconut tomatoes in if you want to. And then the magical part to finish, the very last thing is this, and this is not cheese. Well, it's vegan cheese. And this again is BioLife, one of my very favorite brands of all things vegan cheese. So you could again, take the heat down and then fold some of this into your cauliflower rice and butternut squash in your pan, fold it in, and then put more on top. That might be nice. Um, but otherwise, you simply can do it like this and then just fold it in. So again, this is why your plate's gonna get messy. It's not gonna look Instagram worthy. You're gonna have to wipe it off. So, but this is it. It's so simple, simply, cauliflower, butternut squash, the vegan parm, a little salt, and coconut aminos. That is it. Oh, and the vegetable broth, right? And one thing I do wanna not like warn you of, but like seriously don't oversalt this because coconut aminos is a little bit salty in its flavor just by nature. And so is Parmesan. Even if it's vegan Parmesan, it's, it's a little bit on the salty side. And I don't know if you're one of those people that just salts everything like before you even try it. My husband is one of those people and then he salted what I made the other night and he's like, wow, this is really salty. But it's because it already had the perfect flavor because I know what I'm doing. And I even know how to make his saltier than mine. Anyways, it's beautiful, it's simple, it really does sort of mimic a, a rich risotto, but it will not leave your gut feeling bloated or full. It works really well with all the processes of your body and is a simple, quick, gorgeous, plant-based meal. So I hope you guys try it out and enjoy. If you do, tell me in the comments below. Uh, tell me if you play with the recipe at all. And if you do make it, I love to see your photos. So take a pic and tag me on Instagram. Okay. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. 
Hey guys, just a reminder to check the box below this video. I made you a really cool PDF that teaches you exactly how to put foods together for basic, simple food combining. So it goes over all the food groups and gives you clarity on everything that I've been covering in these past group of videos. So go grab that, check it out, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.